Well, hello there. I'm your favorite engineer, maker, roboticist, Robotronics09, and I'm here today at the TRS Cybot Works Workshop, and I'd like to bring you a little segment called Waste Not, Want Not, featuring my one-of-a-kind rigid wet dry vac from 2004, Dusty. What's wrong with you today, Dusty? Oh. <clears throat> All right, so Dusty. What's wrong with Dusty? So if you heard a little bit, it sounded a little rough when, the, when I turned the fan on, when I turned the power on. Well, what's happened is, I'll just give you a little backstory history. Of course, this is from, like I said, 2004, and um, everything's been fine. It's, it's worked fine. It's, it's been a good wet-dry vacuum. Um, of course, with that particular rigid, you could take off the top and use it as a blower. And so I often use it as a blower um, to blow the yard or whatnot. And um, what I believe happened is um, the fan on the inside, when I'm using it as a blower, the fan is spinning this way, but as a blower, I'm sweeping this way. And so you're creating these different um, motions or forces on the actual blade. And so over time it fatigued and it broke. I've already replaced the fan blade once with a, a 3D printed fan blade made out of a PLA, which I found out now knowing um, that, that was a bad idea. Well, PLA is a bad idea because PLA, as the, as the vacuum runs, the motor heats up and as it heats up, the PLA heats up and it deforms. And so that's, that's where we are right now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and disassemble it and let's get to this uh, repair. There we go. Shimmy, whoop, uh oh. All right, so switch. You have the empty case, the cover. We'll put that to the side. And here we go with the inside, first, at least the first layer. So now we see that there's an inner, um, inner portion or inner fan housing. Uh, here's the motor. Uh, the fan, the blade is actually on the other side. So let's um, take out these screws. <clears throat> okay, here's the back housing. You can see if uh, the PLA I use is white, so you can see how it, um, as it deformed and got on there, it rubbed and, and rubbed off um, onto the housing. All right, let's see what this uh, monstrosity looks like. Oops. All right, so you can, you can see the damage. Uh, I think you can see it. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get, hopefully I can. Uh, you can see how the, the nut, the retaining nut is actually melted into the plastic. You can actually see how the fan Well, it looks like it was, uh, I thought it was um, rotating differently. Okay, so let's see, let's see if we can get this thing off here. Eureka, all right, we got that. Just gonna use an adjustable wrench. And I can't remember which way to turn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, righty tighty lefty loosey, which way to turn it? <clears throat> Very interesting. Uh, this repair was the first time going, the first go around was um, somewhat daunting. And I'll show you the reason why. Uh, if I can get this off. Now, a good thing is I don't have to keep this one. Uh -oh. oh, you know what? I know better. I'm, I'm a pro at this, man. Let's get this, oh, wrong way. Should be this way. So it just turned, it turns out that um, the inner, I, the ID of the hole that I printed it at was good enough to where it would, um, it would actually thread on. So this is the first replacement or first set of replacements 
So I want you to take some notes. So I'm gonna show you the original. So here's the original fan blade. So this was the original fan blade is, is two parts. I guess it was welded together some, some, some way in the machine. Uh, you see the little veins on the inside, right? Now see this, this is, and it, and it sit just like this. And over time you can see how it, how it was broken or what, um, the damage here, uh, these cracked and then it, this whole part ripped, uh, it ripped out when I took it out, but it was cracked and it was, um, Actually, it had completely separated, I think, by the time I actually did the initial repair. So this is the old one, but if you notice, all right, it goes like this, the veins go this way. Uh, they, they point clockwise, right? I printed my version out, and look which way I made my veins go. <laughs> and I didn't realize that until just recently. So the whole time I'd been running it like this, veins go in the wrong direction. And also, if you, if you can kind of notice, if I had a pin, you can see that the, how the arc, the radius is on this. Maybe I have a pin. I do have a pin here at the TRS Cybot Works workshop. So you can see that the, the veins, they kind of, they have an arc kind of like this. But if you look at mine, not only is it going the wrong way, but it's, it's not as, uh, the pitch isn't as, as, as aggressive. So. I got smart and I said, hey, at the TRS Cybot Workshop, we don't let uh, anything go to waste and we can do better than this. So we printed it again, this time in carbon fiber. So this is a uh, nylon carbon fiber and you can see that and much more aggressive pattern. But what's wrong with it? It's going in the same direction. <laughs> And I've already figured out that that's the wrong direction, so that was a waste. But, again, here at the TRS Cybox Works Workshop, we don't let that uh, stop us from getting things done. So I reprinted it again. This time, it's in carbon fiber, um, which should withstand the heat. It's a nylon. It's actually P, uh, PA6 nylon carbon fiber. And um, they're going the, rec the correct direction. One more note before I put this on. Uh, I may have to drill this out a little bit. And I'll probably have to show you some in pictures. But this is not the way this originally came. So if you see here, there's a, I don't know if, there, if there's a, there's a shoulder here. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a shoulder here. And um, that was not originally there. Originally it was, um, it was uh, like a boss. It was, it was, uh, it was a larger diameter and it came up closer to the threads more so it could sandwich so it could sandwich this thin sheet metal okay well i had to get this turned down i have a lathe but i could not ever i could not figure out how to get the motor actually out of this housing so i had to put this whole um actually no i took the motor out of the housing but i couldn't take the shaft or the 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 shaft out of the motor so i had to stick the whole motor this whole back part uh, and figure out how to hold it in my lathe so I could turn down the shoulder. But we made it work. We got it. We made it. All right, so let's make this happen. Because I really need this vacuum to work. Okay, it looks like it is going to be slightly... Let's see, it may thread on. Hey, look at that. Hallelujah. Uh-oh. Shoot. Why is it not going down any further, though? Oh, it's, uh, I know, it's... I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, hit it one time with the, with the drill bit. All right. Okay, so uh, 5 sixteenths. Okay, so I got my drill bit, my 5 sixteenths. I'm, I'm gonna do this this way, give myself a little bit of clamp. Okay. 
Boom. So now we should have a, a hole, 5 16th hole. We should just be able to, okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna take the retaining nut. Is it serrated? I think it is serrated. Could be, would be a smart idea to clean up those serrations a little bit, but hopefully it'll stick. Get this on here tight. Whoa. All right. Now it's actually spinning the right, well, it's headed the right way this time. Should be able to handle the heat. So let's get this thing back together and give it a test run. Disclaimer, what you see here is uh, the culmination of a whole lot of things other than just, uh, just 3D printing. Uh, so everybody wouldn't necessarily be able to do a repair like this. But if you need it, if you have a, a rigid vacuum or a vacuum and it has the same issue, hey, feel free to contact me. <laughs> uh, Let's see. All right, Dusty, how you feeling? And that sounds a lot better. Now the full test will be to actually use it and see how much it heats up and if the um, uh, the fan uh, survives that. So. But oh well, we'll see how it goes. At least today it's gonna work. So thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Waste Not, Want Not. I am your maker, engineer, roboticist, Robotronics 09, and I'll be bringing more repairs to you right here on this channel. So be sure to subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you need repaired. All right, see you next time.